Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Not only, like, in, in a little bit of a turnaround, I must report news of the Telethia subjugation to his majesty. I should hurry to the audience chamber. chamber. In a little bit of a turnaround, rather than the game taking away a, a party member, the game took away all of our party members except for one. Landmarks unavailable. Uh, Alchemoth is going to be an area. Okay. That eh, makes sense. It is a city, and the cities tend to be their own areas. They have people movers. They're really high tech. That's worrying you say sounds. The second consort's child survived her ordeal? Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Whilst she's in the capital, don't seem nice. do not underestimate the lengths to which His Majesty and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? That is I will interesting. do whatever it takes. Hair. Oh, your stupidity bores me. Your Highness, Enough I... of your drivel! We will have our chance when she stakes her claim to the throne. Imperial capital, Alchemoth. Well, this is definitely giving me some uh, Solaris uh, vibes. <clears throat> there is going to be a lot of exploration. Melfica Road. I must report news of the Telethia subjugation to his majesty. I should hurry to the audience chamber. No, there's someone who has a quest out there. No. No. Quest person. Que quest kid, come here. Fine. Be that way. Hello? Yes. His Majesty was most worried when you were not here. He thought it was reckless to face the Telethia. Yes? I am glad to see that you are safe and sound, Lady Melia. You know, through the power of uh, uh, gameplay plot, I, I'm aware that there is someone plotting against me. Maybe you should go look at that. Someone named Yumea. A great hall. Uh, it's, it's adequate. It's adequate. Yes? We have heard about the heroic events of Magna Forest. How? I think many people will come to say something. But nothing that you should worry about. How? Can't do that one yet. Interesting uh, design. What is it? Welcome back to Alchemoth. Lady Melia, I am filled with glee that Milady has not been hurt. I mean, she did get, you know, knocked out. Uh, in, a, in a fight very recently, so, you know. Are you that? Lady Melia. If I can be of any service, do, please do not hesitate to ask. Are you that what? This is not the way to the audience chamber. I must use the transporter in Ascension Hall. Ah. Darn you invisible plot walls. Yes? Lady Millie, the Imperial Guard has eagerly awaited your return. We understand that you must be tired from Magda Forest, but please go to see the Emperor. Le Crow. What is it? Welcome back, Lady Melia. The Imperial Guard were united in our anticipation of your return. Affinity chart updated. I suppose I can check the affinity chart, though, right? 
upper Bionis. Okay. <laughs> He's all the way over here. Uh, hi, Entia, male, diligent soldier. He has a sacred driver and juicy wild meat. Oh. What I can is trade it? with him. What's that you say? A trade, is it? Sure, I don't have one of these. Um, hmm. You don't really want a whole lot of stuff. Uh... Well, you'll take a Dilemma Rock. What is it? Juicy Wild Meat. Okay, 720. Uh, basically, anything super cheap will do that I have a good supply of. Um, Crimson Citrus, maybe? Nope. So I'm not sure what if it? what they... The, the bonus trade is based on like the comparative value or absolute value. Like you have to trade X amount or something like that. Because that didn't work. Which I was kind of hoping it would. All right. Uh, nine, no. Seven, no. I should probably go uh, more expensive. Happy Carnival. Feels like overkill. Popper's Cup. <laughs> well, we can hardly call this a fair exchange. Here, I insist you take this in return. A pink asparagus. All right. Yes? Lady Melia, you have returned. I hope that your last expedition went well. After your report to the Emperor, after your report to the Emperor, please take time to relax. Interesting hair decoration on her. Hey. Or wing decoration, I guess it would be. Welcome home, Lady Melia. I am overjoyed to see that you are safe and sound. Galvin? Welcome. L Lady M Melia, uh, when did you return to Alchemoth? We just heard from someone else that they've already heard about what happened. I've been waiting eagerly for your return, Lady. Welcome. What's that you say? To trade, is it? Uh, league leggings and a gravel disc. All right. Yes, that's what we're doing. Welcome. Gold Burdock, 9,000, so, I'll try that. That was not enough, all right. Well, figure something out later. Doesn't look like it. Yes? The Emperor is waiting in the audience chamber. Please use the transporter upstairs. Uh, but first, I will take that silver ring. It's just bugged. Oh, we can't go swimming. <laughs> Could it be that our people have devolved over the millennia? Me. Lady Melia, you're safe. I'm relieved to see that you're doing well. I, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that you never looked like that before. Just saying. Eh, 
That is an interesting uh, fountain. I like it. Yes? Welcome back, Lady Melia. We have been eagerly awaiting your safe return. Right, His Majesty awaits you in the audience chamber. Please, go and greet him with a smile. I mean, that's what princesses are supposed to do, right? Yes. Lady Melia, I was waiting eagerly for your return. Because I was unable to join this expedition, I was truly worried. Well, you know, look on the bright side. At least you didn't die. The Imperial family treats each of the guards as individuals. And do you have any idea how happy that makes us feel? I, I perfectly understand Alchemoth Imperial Guard number 43. Protect my friends. And a level up for Amelia. What is it? Kaelin. Welcome back, Lady Melia. I fulfilled my duty in ensuring the safety of the Imperial family. You need not worry, worry my lady. All right. What is it? Let's trade. What's that you say? A trade, is it? Gold burdock and refined ponytail. Pink asparagus? <laughs> well, we can hardly call this a fair exchange. Here, I insist you take this in return. A scratched jewel. Until next time, then. Yes? Milady, you are safe. When I first heard the news, I thought my heart would shatter. That, that I was safe? Well, that's just rude. Wow. Holy cow. Sky Terrace. It's gonna be someplace I can jump from. I'd better not do that right now, though. Let's wait until later. Okay, Ryan and Amelia need to be at max for this one. Uh, this is a very impressive view. I like the look of that little place down there. So I am pretty sure if I go down there, that's not a just jump down until you uh, land. I'm pretty sure that's going to be one of the standard uh, jump off, you just instantly die things. Audience here. Dang it, I wanted to go around. Yeah, there's someone in red up there. Melia Antiqua, first princess, has returned, your majesty. Raise your head. Your majesty. Some of them have very big ears. The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. But, Your Majesty, I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. We will grieve for them, but it could not have been avoided. Well, I probably could have. It was their duty and honor to fight beside you. They were all aware of your limits. Emperor! Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty, concerning such debts, there were others who aided me. The Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital, they have been arrested by Imperial security. What? Shulk and his companions. Yes, for reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? Do you mean the Monado? So it is true. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. Why? There is a legend passed down through the generations 
of a divine weapon, the Monado. It is said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a chosen one. Right, so sure. However, if the chosen one is black of heart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Right, so maybe, uh... Among High Entia exist the, the good person and bad alike. Well? Homs and Nopon are no different. If this boy is the chosen one, the Divine Seer's interrogation will reveal where his allegiances lie. So you intend to keep them confined? We must. Father, I mean, Your Majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. I mean, the easiest way to get him to uh, be black of heart is to treat him poorly. Just saying. Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words have confused you. I don't like this guy already. Brother. He's clearly His older. Has spoken. She's clearly in he line for the throne. recognizes you as the crown princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you? Yes. The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell you now. You will make a fine Empress. There is no one more suited to leading our people. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I... don't know what to... Melia. About the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. I know. But it does nothing for the guilt I feel. It is as the Emperor said. Grieve their departing, and engrave in your heart their great deeds. Can we first release the people that oh, well. helped her get... You are right to question these things. But take pride in who you are. The Emperor has chosen wisely in you, Melia. I don't know, I still feel like he's just saying that. I am to be crowned princess. Yes, you are. The ministries of research and records are united in support of his majesty's decision. Dominia, is I, that you? Minister Lorithea, have no objection to your appointment. I understand. I would never openly the question color in the our divine emperor. But the wielder Openly, of the Monado, huh? the Chosen One, might be a useful tool. You think so too? Yes, but a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. You can However, suggest, though. if the divine seer were to intervene... The seer could free Shulk. They should be exchanging words as we speak. Idiot bird brains. What do we do? A fancy prison is still a prison. It's very stark. What happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. Well, she's a princess. Exactly. She's in on this. Shulk, any thoughts here? No, I was just trying to Melia shut out Ryan. down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. And she's not the kind of person to break a promise. Okay, Shulk. You win. <laughs> I believe you. And if you believe Melia, then no arguments from me. Ah, just one party member again, huh? All right. White Wing Palace. Does look nice. Ah, uh, I can't see. Ah, uh, well, I guess this is where Melia would have uh, 
<laughs> leaped down to. Hmm? Shulk, you no have to worry. The bird people are not bad. Hmm? Yeah? The ones who came to meet Melia were also wearing those masks. What in the world is going on? Yo. What is all this? How can they treat us like this? That Melia chick. You are sure we can really trust her, right? Right. We have never had any contact with the High Entia before. Perhaps they are being cautious, just as we would. Eh, I mean, they're they're clearly being overly cautious. Oh, there's two floors here. You hey. are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Right, but we haven't Stand eaten yet. Back. Can we have some food? Um. Alvis. What are you doing here? Hmm. Well, that should make it e things easier for us. I see. So that is why you are here. Is Melia okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, she is fine. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. Yeah, that's a sword. Mm -hmm. The Monado. Mm -hmm. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Yeah, we're going to need some backstory on this thing. Oh. Leave everything to me. At least this makes things easier. I can see to it that you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of Her Highness treated as criminals now, can we? No, most definitely not. Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests of the Imperial family. Sir. I am required to report to His Majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. You nah, just give us free room rain. at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Oh, I'm going to roam the city, of course. Farewell. Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you... Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. <sighs> All right. Just need to give you a little bit of a kick to the rear for that. The life of the rich. So where are we going? Everywhere. Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. It's not very stuffy. It's just okay, very, then. very stark and boring. Ricky, find Melly for Shulk. Ricky, wait. Your Eminence. What God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? I mean, there were guards with him. What happened? Him. We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. Sure, can Ricky go help? Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. This is extremely convenient. Help. But you're outsiders. Yeah, so? Soldier man, not worry. Here upon Ricky is here to save the day. It is most appreciated. We need all the help we can get. I have seen the number of guards you have. I question that you actually need our help. But I am perfectly okay uh, rolling with it. All right, save the worker. There has been a support request from a worker who is fixing a transporter near a Sirith Lighthouse at Aerith Sea. He may be in danger. Hurry to help him. Go to Hovering Reef 4, where Sirith Lighthouse is situated, and ask where the worker is. You'll accept that quest? Of course I'll accept that quest. I have no option. All right, before... Don't, don't sniff yourself. 
Skill trees. Uh, okay. You have gotten Ricky C, Ricky Do. Very nice. And a Theft Arts Plus. Let's Ricky steal AP with Yoink and share it with the party. That's what we're working on now. All right. Arts. You got something new. Lariat. Deal damage to multiple enemies in front of Ryan. Uh, it's pretty good damage. It's pretty good damage. Uh, we'll hold off on it for now, though. Oh, also. Um... Alright, so affinity chart... Yeah, let's pop out Ryan. Let's get... Uh, oh, hey, can I actually... Aww. I can't ever give a gift. Let's get Ricky in. Let's see if we can find, like, a shop or something. Oh. Okay, yeah. That was a door. That was just closed before. All right. Uh, well, it is actually about time to end the episode, and... There's a lot of people. There is a shop out there. Let's go to hit up the shop first. And then maybe next time we'll go... grab all these quests. Since we can go help uh, that uh, worker who's in danger. Oh, that was lightning. Uh, oh, there we are. Hello. Are you that? All right. Popular staff. I cannot compare it right now. Ace Lancer. Uh, let's see. When did I get so much money? Oh my God, three hundred sixteen thousand. Hunting Nibbler and Iron Cutlass. Well. In that case, find one of each. Skycap, Aerith Gear, uh, Ocean Earrings. Swimming Top, Sky Top, and Aerith Armor. Well, here goes all of my money. Earth Gauntlets, Mithril Gauntlets, Gravity Stone Band. I could probably get some of these from other people, but... Swimming Bottoms, Sky Bottoms, and Earth Leggings. Earth Boots, Mithril Boots, Hover Shoes. There goes all my money. Summon Bolt, Hypnotize, Shadow Stitch, Summon Flare, Starlight Kick, Summon Copy. Yeah, those are all for Melia, so we'll hold off on that until Melia is back in the party. And whoops, Let's change equipment. Let's see what uh, what things look like. Uh, Aerith type. All right, that's uh, definitely a thing. Actually, oops. I wonder if that'll work. Yep. Alright. That's definitely a thing. <laughs> what... What is going on?
could be worse. Definitely could be worse. Alright. So there should be some uh, Aerith uh, equipment here. Oh, Aerith type 1 2. Well, at least it's green. That's for the uh, gear thingies. Uh, that's green. I like that. Uh, what are you normally wearing? You know what? I do like that better. Let's go with that. Nah, a little bit too shiny. Okay, let's see. Aerith type 1. Eh, not too bad. That's a purple and exposing a lot of skin. Eh, I kind of like that. Maybe we'll come back to that. we go. Okay, and you can have Aerith Type 1 and 2 boots. Those are, those are definitely a thing. Those are definitely a thing. One of these days I gotta go and just like equip everyone with all of the, uh, Tiers. Not necessarily all the colors, but I actually kind of like that. Although I do like the uh, decorative element of that. Yeah, let's go with that for now. They look really tight, though. <laughs> Alright, anti mechon biter. That is very shiny. And Endymion, Iron Cutlass. Uh, that's not bad. Right. I still like this one better. It's basically the same thing, just different color, I guess. Uh, it's a little bit shinier, but I kind of like the dark. Okay. So, uh, when we come back next time... We do have some collectibles to get around here. Uh, we have quests to pick up. I am going to do some gem crafting and probably some selling, get some of that uh, money back that I just spent. Boy, does money go fast in this game. And, uh, yeah, we'll see about uh, going and saving that. Uh, um what is going on with you, Ricky? See you about going to save that worker. See you next time, everyone.